Hey folks, Commander Mal for the win here for HCS Voice Packs. Most problems with HCS Voice Packs and Voice Attack tend to fall into one of these three categories, and we've got a video covering each one. First, Voice Attack is not hearing you at all. In other words, that level bar at the bottom of the main Voice Attack screen is just not moving when you talk. Number two, Voice Attack hears you but is not understanding commands. In other words, that level bar is moving when you talk, but Voice Attack isn't recognizing what you say. Or number three, voice attack hears and recognize what you're saying, but nothing is happening. So you're seeing commands show up in the recognition log, but no actions are taking place on your computer. This video covers troubleshooting that first category, voice attack can't hear me. Remember, this series of troubleshooting videos only covers some of the most common causes. It may help you, it may not, because every situation is unique. If you're not seeing activity on the level bar at the bottom of the voice attack window, it means the sound from your microphone isn't getting to the program for some reason. Let's try these steps first. Number one, make sure your microphone is plugged in all the way. This one gets me just about every time. It's true for XLR microphones, 3.5 millimeter, and even USB microphones. Number two, make sure your microphone switch is on. On a headset, the switch may be located on the cord or on a control dongle. On an actual desktop microphone, sometimes this switch is located on the back of the microphone or on the bottom. Many microphones don't have a switch, so if this doesn't apply to you, don't worry. Move on to step three. Number three, make sure your microphone isn't muted. Many microphones do have an onboard mute switch, and that's true for headsets and desktop microphones. On a headset, the switch may be located on a cord or a control dongle, or you may have a headset that mutes the microphone if the microphone isn't swiveled down and locked into a position near your mouth. Desktop mics like the Blue Yeti have a mute button on the body of the microphone that flashes or lights up when the mute is active. Also, make sure your mic isn't muted in Windows, because sometimes that can be a problem as well. Number four, make sure the volume of your microphone is adequate. On a headset, you may have controls for the microphone volume on the cord, on a dongle, or on the headset itself. You'll also want to check the microphone level in the Windows Sound Mixer for recording devices. For more recent versions of Microsoft Windows, basically Vista and later, go into the control panel and run the sound app. Select the recording tab, then select your input device. The device you want to use should have a green check mark indicating it's the currently selected and active default recording device. If it's not, you can right click and set it as the default recording device. With that same device selected, click the properties button and go to the levels tab. On this tab, make sure the volume is set to an adequate amount and adjust the slider as needed. If there's a balance button available, click it and make sure both the microphone channels are set at the same adequate level, relatively even to each other. Instructions for doing this in Windows XP can be found in the troubleshooting section of the Voice Attack manual, and there's a link in the description below. If you've got good audio levels coming into Microsoft Windows, you can also go back into the microphone setup wizard and run that again if you need to. Go into Control Panel, select the Speech Recognition Options app, then select Set Up Microphone. Follow the instructions indicated to set up your microphone just like we did in the second video in this tutorial. At this point, you should have an active level bar at the bottom of your voice attack window indicating the program is receiving sound from your microphone. That's it for this tutorial. Remember, there are two other troubleshooting videos in this series to help you out with voice attack not understanding you and voice attack or your HCS voice pack not executing commands. If you can't get things working after trying the fixes in this video series, head over to the voice attack forums or the voice attack discord to ask for specific help with your issue. The Voice Attack manual, available on the voiceattack.com website, has most of the information we discussed in this video, and it's a great resource for Voice Attack in general. Finally, be sure to drop by the ATS Voice Pack's official Discord if you run into any problems, need additional help, or just want to say hi. You can also stop by my stream at twitch.tv slash win to ask questions live and see ATS Voice Packs in action. Links to all these resources are in the description below. Until next time, this is Commander Mal for the Wind, reminding you that thanks to HCS Voice Packs, you never have to fly alone.